from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A survey conducted by Cigna and market research firm Ipsos finds that many Americans feel alone and are lonely. The loneliest generation of adults are millennials, 18 to 22 years old. Well, gee, you know, maybe if they take their eyes off their smartphones for three seconds and go outside once in a while. Whoa, sorry. Oh my gosh, I just turned into my dad there for a second. The new prime minister of Malaysia is 92 years old. Well, I guess that's one way to enforce term limits. Last week in Rockaway Township, New Jersey, a large black bear smashed a car window to get to the two dozen cupcakes inside. Area bakery owner Christine Allen left the cupcakes inside her parked Honda SUV on Wednesday night, and on Thursday morning she found a smashed rear window, no cupcakes, a paw print on the backseat headrest, and lots of smeared icing. She said he ate every single one. But then, you know, what are you going to do? What, charge the bear for damages? I mean, he can't pay. He doesn't have any pockets. A new study shows that more and more Americans are taking laptop computers and tablets on vacation with them in order to get ahead on work-related projects. But we do make up the difference by goofing off more at work. Facebook is testing a new group phone call feature that'll let you talk on the phone with up to 50 friends at once. Not real friends, though. I mean, this is Facebook. So this would be for the people who are kind of your acquaintances or just an acquaintance of an acquaintance whom you don't mind seeing pics of your baby or what you're having for dinner that night in their newsfeed. You know, real friends, they, they already have your phone number. Those three Americans released from North Korea said they were glad to get out of a country run by a crazy madman and back to America where… and then they just stopped mid-sentence. California is raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour by the year 2022, which by then might actually buy you a quarter pounder with cheese. A new study on domestic partners found that women spend more time doing chores than men. This report from the Center for Studying the Obvious. A study says 40% of moms faked their reaction to the Mother's Day gift that you gave her on Sunday. Well, you know, I know my mom is obviously in the 60% that really loved her new ratchet set. The Los Angeles Police Department says it's investigating a burglary during which it believes the costume from the first Iron Man film was stolen. Well, couldn't they just ask Jarvis where it is? Rolls-Royce has introduced a $325,000 SUV. It's the perfect vehicle for four-wheeling through Beverly Hills. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding is this Saturday. I can only assume my invitation is lost in the mail somewhere. Most alcohol-free beers mimic the real deal almost to perfection, especially in the packaging so that it makes you feel and look like you're drinking real beer minus the buzz. Of course, that makes them hard to drink in places where alcohol consumption is frowned upon. You know, like work. Up and now, a company called Suntory has a new clear alcohol-free beer which is packaged to look like a bottled water. All Free All Time is a zero-alcohol, zero-calorie beer designed to protect consumers from judgmental attention from bosses, co-workers, and clients at the workplace. According to them, you can take a sip at your desk while working or in a meeting without worrying about attracting unwanted attention to yourself. Assuming you really need the taste of beer that badly. If you are thinking of quitting smoking, it's probably Monday. Researchers monitored Google searches for five years, and almost every week searches about kicking the habit peaked on Mondays. Of course, Mondays are also the most stressful day of the week, which is exactly why you feel the need for a cigarette. The Fox Network has dropped the axe on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Last Man on Earth, and The Mick. But it also announced that they are bringing back Tim Allen's canceled ABC series Last Man Standing. And NBC chimed in by saying they'll carry season six of Brooklyn 999. You know what? I'll bet stuff like this tempts the workers at TV Guide to pick it for better work conditions. A Phoenix woman was arrested for stalking a man after one date. What'd she do? Eh, nothing much. Just sent him 65,000 texts and police found her in his bathtub. I didn't even know my ex-girlfriend was dating again. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like scary true stories, 
Check out my other podcast at WeirdDarkness.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!